Hello friends and welcome to the simulated Six Nations. Now I have um, updated all the rosters for the teams so they should, ref so they should reflect real life. Uh, we're going to jump to our first uh, highlight package from Italy versus Wales. Now, there's a slight technical glitch in that the props and fullbacks seem to disappear from the team sheet as you can see here but uh, as you can also see the Italian team pretty up to date and then same for the Welsh we've got the likes of Moriarty, Bigger, uh, Tipperick and Halfpenny etc etc so we jump in Italy winning the line out from Wales Hawk I'm putting a great shove on here let's see if they can uh, mount anything they are of course the underdogs in this game although they are playing in Rome some sh nice short passing has been sent the field, but the Italian player is isolated. Wales have stolen it from the rocket, looks like. And that's a three early, early three point conversion for the Welsh number 12. <coughs> Not, you know, that was probably successful to take this to by surprise more than, uh, more than anything. See, so just about had the length, and uh, Wales are up. So the next play. We jump into a nice kick into space from Dan Bigger. The Welsh uh, fullback scrambling to retrieve the ball. He does well though. Because it's really in a nice position to uh, launch it. No, they, really, they really should be kicking this out at some point. Slow ball. Slow ball here. And until John Wales has stolen it. And again, Dan Bigger. Well, for the first time, Dan Bigger, but again for the. Uh, Drop goal attempts, and that's a quick six points from Wales. Some interesting tactics that they are employing early on in this particular game. Not releasing. So we're going to jump in. Um, Wales holding onto the ball gives Italy a penalty with two minutes of the first half to play. So we'll see if they can uh, get some points on the board before half time. So they're going for the five meter line out. Let's see if they go for the catch and drive. Or uh, if they go for something a bit more complex, short line out, e e easily won. Moore's not really gone anywhere, so we're going to play it quickly. Playing nicely into space, the winners coming into support, but they're not going to need it. Oh no, yeah, I cut back inside. Wells has stolen the ball, and Wells managed to clear. So that's Wales walking into the uh, half time break with 6 0 leads. Um, Interestingly, Italy have had the majority of possession and territory. Crouch. But uh, Find. we'll see if that changes in the second half. Set. Jumping to a uh, scrum in the Wales of 22. Let's see what happens here. Italy with a mighty shove on to win that scrum. Let's see what they can do from this very promising position. Let's see a pass onto the wing. Well, has he got it? Referee? And the other side has been grounded. So a very quick reply there from Italy. Um, they should obviously convert this fairly simple opportunity. A nice delayed pass. And a nice hold off there from the Italian player. Just about gets over the line and grounds the ball. So, you know, it's fairly straightforward for Carla Canna. And Italy take the lead with 61 minutes gone. Let's see what uh, Wales can do in response. So we jump into Wales, possession about the halfway line. Promising position here. There goes George North with the great fake, and it looks like he's in. So Italy's lead lasted all the five minutes. Um, great play by George North there. Yes, it was George North. Good, good. Nice uh, blindside gap. Fakes the uh, uh, fakes the Italian fullback, and he is in for the try. He's left half penny with a bit to do to uh, convert this chance, but uh, it's well within his cap capability, which he does. Nice and easy there for half penny. So, Wales take a 13 7 lead. Next highlight, we're jumping in with the Italians in a similar position to the Welsh were. 
do this highlight, but it's like holding on to the ball. Silly penalty to give away. Got fairly isolated, and we'll see what Wales decide to do with this penalty. Our funny is going to go for the kick here from some distance. We'll see if he can convert. It's on target. Has it got the legs? It does indeed, and that's pretty much tied up the game for Wales there. No chance of Italy coming back with uh, 8 minutes to play, I think, but nevertheless, Italy in a good position. A nice little, uh, nice little determination by the Italian player to keep going as he wasn't held. Not a oh, that's, that's a nice fake there. What can the Italians do from this very advanced position? Of course, if they score, it doesn't really matter. They've run out of time. Wales have won this game. But this is more so for pride than anything else at this stage. Wales win the ball. That's pretty much a summary of how the whole entire game is gone. So, let's see. Wales with the line out to close out this game. Nice and safe to the back. And, uh, George North. Running into space again. Gets caught by the Italian player. And there's, there's the buzzer. What can the Italians do with the last gasp attack? Well stolen the ball. The Italians are too isolated and too slow to get to the breakdown. George North is off again with a nice inside pass. It's going to be a penalty advantage to Italy. The Welsh player being offside. Some nice quick passing there, they're out onto the opposite wing before you already know it. Advantage, over. Advantage is over, as you heard. So, uh, Terrence on the halfway line. It's a massive blindside get, and he's in. No one's catching him. And that is a fantastic finish for Italy, a nice little move there. And as we'll see on the replay, that, uh, when it comes up, there's a huge hole on the blindside. The Welsh not covering the breakdown correctly. And uh, Gonzalo Garcia is in for the try. Currently, can should be able to convert this, uh, but fortunately, it's uh, too little, too late. Yeah. Going into this game, you wouldn't expect Italy to be this place to Wales after 80 minutes, so they can be proud of that performance. Only two points adrift, so Wales take that one home, 16-14. Let's have a look at the stats. Garcia, the man of the match for Italy with his two tries. Uh, we had Wales, we had the try for North. Uh, two early drop goals, which um, obviously were the right tactics to take. Italy with the line share of possession and territory. But uh, it was two drop goals by Wales, which, uh, as we see, has won them the game, it seems. As, uh, that would have been down at 10 points rather than 16. And they've got. So we we'll jump into the next game now, which is Ireland against France. This is going to be a tightly contested game, I think. It's going to be very close. And we'll have a look at the teams. There's Ireland. I see everybody's there. So we've got Johnny Sexton, obviously having a great Six Nations in real life so far. Um, obviously we've got Best at Hooker, assistant figure. France, it'll be interested to see how Teddy Tamar does. He's not playing on the win in this particular game, for whatever reason. And uh, I decided, uh, no, no. What's the point in showing you highlights when nothing happened? So I uh, decided so to give you the end game score screen instead. And we won't talk about that one. And I'll move swiftly on to Scotland versus England. Ignore the fact it's a Twickenham, we'll pretend that's not happening, and we we'll also pretend Scotland are playing at home at Mayfield. So here's the team, so prop and uh, fullback have gone missing again, but uh, Finn Russell leading the line for Scotland. And uh, for England, for some reason, for some reason they're playing Watson and number 12, and not Farrell, and they're playing Earls on the wing instead of uh, Watson. So we jump in with Scotland on England's 22. Nice little offload there. Scotland not making too much headway at present. 
That's a fantastic offload, a one-handed offload in the middle of the tackle. What can Scotland do from the position? England, turn the ball over. What can we do here? Stay isolated. And that's a silly penalty to give away. Holding on in there, we're in 22. Really shouldn't be necessary. But see what Scotland decide to do here. They'd take the sensible option, go for the three points. Should be fairly easy for Finn Russell. And that proves to be the case. So Scotland go 3 0 up inside the first 12 minutes. Crouch. I really don't know why they're not playing Farrell at 12. But hey ho. This is simulated Six Nations, so we take those mistakes. Scotland putting a mighty scrum in as the half time hooter goes. Getting into a lot of space on the wing. There's a big open blind side at present, but they go. No, they do go to the blind side. Nice little break, but fantastic tackle by the England fullback. Another big crunching tackle there. It shows that Scotland minimal momentum around the uh, breakdown. England very quick to uh, cover those spaces. Apart from in that instance, it's a fantastic inside pass, and that's the try for Scotland. Right on half time there. England just thinking about the halftime tea and biscuits a bit too much, I think. And uh, that threw speed their downfall. So here's that big open side channel, or close side channel. Fake pass, and then when he releases it, acres of room for Hugh Jones there. And uh, job done. Five points. This should be an, an, another easy two for Finn Russell. And that's a 10 0 lead at half time for Scotland. It's a week full of surprises in this simulated Six Nations. Let's have a look at the stats. Scotland dominating possession. Uh, line break 6 to England's 3. Um, so Scotland clearly the better of the two sides. Let's see what England can do here. Jumping at the 47 mark. Scotland. Oh, what a step that was. Fantastic try by the uh, number 7, I think that was, for Scotland. It's not the way England wanted to start the second half. And it's Hamish Watson with that try. So England had possession here. Matoje, he just passed to an isolated man, quickly stolen. That's a fantastic step by Hamish Watson. And a well deserved try. So, another simple conversion for Finn Russell. Uh, yep. Good stuff. So, Scotland. Take a commanding 17-0 lead. What can in, what can England do apart from continue to play people out of position? And the join that's a terrible line out by Scotland, but they've managed to recover it. Deep in England territory. Let's see what they do here. Slow ball, England have stolen it. It's a good tackle, and Scotland have stolen have uh, stolen it back off an isolated man again. It's a nice offload. He's they could have scored a try with about three people there. But uh, in the end, they do get it down. Stretch a lead up to 22 points. And it was Johnny Gray with uh, the try there. So as you can see, a massive hit. Quickly stolen. Finn Russell, nice offload outside. Inside pass, outside pass. That did look suspiciously forward, but the try stands. And Scotland just keep on increasing those points. Finn Russell with a uh, toughest kick of the day but still gets it over. So that's 24 points to zero. England's they've got they've got to try and get something on the board at some point. Nice inside pass. Another nice pass there. And England is just error after error after error not releasing once again. See what Scotland do. Finn Russell goes for the points just to rub salt into the wound. It's quite far out, but that looks to be a good one for Finn Russell. And that proves to be the case. Points upon points upon points, and now 27 points in front. England cannot get a score on the board, and they're 75 minutes in. So we jump into the closing moments of the game. England with the head and feed. 
and he seems to be having the better of this particular scrum, although now it's ground to oh no, it's a great shove. There's the final hooter. Can England get some points on the board? Nice moves here. And Scotland for the upteenth time it seems. Stolen the ball. Out it goes. And that is game set and match to Scotland. A dominating performance there, 27 points to zero, three tries from Johnny Gray, Hamish Watson and Jones, and uh, Finn Russell was just kicking everything today. 70% possession for Scotland, um, England making tw almost 20 more tackles, um, always on defence, but always making errors. So as you can see from the uh, table there, Scotland and Wales sitting pretty on the two points, France and Ireland on the one for those bonus points. So I hope you enjoyed this video folks and uh, I'll see you next time.